हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम बैक विद पैन दोस पैलेट्स अपडेट आई हैव सच अ ग्रेट प्रोग्रेस टू शेयर विद यू गाइस एंड विदाउट फर्दर ड्यू लेट्स जंप राइट इनटू द अपडेट आई डिड नॉट फिनिश एनी न्यू आई शैडोज बट आई एम दिस क्लोज टू फिनिशिंग three eye shadows i would say before i share all of the juicy update if you are new here please consider subscribing to my channel my name is rakneet and i make a lot of panning videos i mostly like panning eye shadows i just love playing with eye shadows and creating different looks this project is created by amber f i will link her down below as well this year i decided to work on my tinier palettes the ones that didn't have a lot of product and i just wanted to get them out of my collection so i have already finished three palettes to completion although i did not start working on all of them this year i had some prior usage but nonetheless we were able to finish three palettes and i'm working on two more to finish and the fourth palette that i will be finishing for sure is my elf summer breeze palette i've been working on this palette for i guess three years now more than three years i would say but i only have one eyeshadow remaining in here and that's the black one and this is how it was looking like last update i wanted to use up the last leg remaining on the right side and i was able to do that i even managed to use up the product on the top side a little bit more this is how it's looking like today as you can see there's not a lot of product remaining i used it 25 times i used it a lot i would put it in my outer corners on my outer lid entirely on my lower lash line everywhere and that's how i managed to use so much of it and now i think i will have to repress it because there's very little product remaining in here and it's super thin as well but i'm glad that this is going to be done this month for sure now let's move on to the next palette which i rolled in a few months ago and it had four pans when i rolled this in it's my essence top it up palette the eyeshadows in these essence palettes are very powdery they are nice to work with but they also move very quickly anyway this is how my palette was looking like last month And this is how it's looking like today. There have been many, many changes. I repressed a bunch of these eyeshadows, some of them not entirely, but after repressing, I continued to use them and we have bigger and bigger pants now. So let's go over all of these eyeshadows one by one. So the first eyeshadow is called Sing Along and i used it 22 times since last update there's only a tiny bit of product remaining in here and this is something that i'll be able to finish for sure i start off my eye look with this eyeshadow i take a fluffier brush and then i start off from my pro bone and i start blending towards my eyelid and i do it on the other eye as well and that way i do use quite a bit of this product but i really enjoy using it and it does what it is supposed to do and next eyeshadow is called saturday night for this one i had a goal of hitting side pan here and i repressed that part and i used all the repressed part here if you haven't seen my repressing video i will link it down below so saturday night i managed to use 12 times and we have a nice progress here moving on to the next eyeshadow it's called feel so good i actually scraped off its top layer and i mixed it with a morphe eyeshadow i used that mixture up as a face powder it was a bit dark for me but i mixed it with my pink powder that's in my project pan and it worked i did not make a lot of that franken powder and i didn't film it either i was just experimenting with it so i used all of that concoction up and now i'm left with this nicely leveled feel so good shade i also used this eyeshadow on its own so in total i used it 16 times so every time i would use this eyeshadow on my eyes and i would use the concoction that i made from this one i would just count it as one use so 16 total uses and we are going 
good with this one now i have hope that i'll be able to finish it by end of this year so moving on to the next row this is the last row it only has two rows so this one is called hands up high i also repressed it and we only have tiny bit of product remaining in here i used it 20 times i would put it in my inner corners i would put it on my lid sometimes i would use it as a highlighter it was a bit ashy to be used as a highlighter on my warm toned skin but i would top it off with a blush that worked so i think we'll be finishing it up in under five uses i'm pretty sure about that and moving on to the next eyeshadow it's called groove on i used it 16 times for this one i had a goal of hitting side pan which i did i also repressed it and used up the repressed part so 16 uses on this one and within those 16 uses i used it on my eyes as a crease shade it's very cool toned on me of course because it's a gray but it's more on the mauve sort of gray shade it's not a true gray i think that's the reason I can diffuse it with my warmer transition shades but I also mixed it with my bronzer and used it as a contour shade so I would dip my brush in my bronzer shade and then I would just dip it here so that made my bronzer a little bit more cool toned and it would look like as a contour shade so I did that I guess five or six times and i think i'll continue doing that with this shade if i want to finish it by end of this year so that's the groove on and last shade is called parties jumping my goal for this one was to clear the entire top right corner and i did that i also repressed it and used up the repressed part i repressed these eyeshadows like tiny bit of these eyeshadows simply for the ease of use so that i can get the product more evenly onto my brush because it's really hard to get the product from those tinier edges for shimmers it was specifically hard for me because i mostly use these with my fingers i used it 18 times since last update and i'm really really glad how well used it looks like i wear it almost in all of my looks and it goes on my outer lid it acts as a diffuser between my lid shade and my outer v shade and I wear black in my outer V, so it works perfectly for that reason. And I will try to use it the way I use it. And hopefully I'll be able to finish it by end of this year. That's a bold statement considering how much product is remaining in here. But we'll see, we'll see. I'll really push for it. 18 uses are a lot. I am hyper focusing on this palette. I just want to use up all of these eyeshadows. When I rolled it into this project, I wasn't expecting to make progress as fast as I've been making. But again, I'm using these eyeshadows a ton. I have around 20 uses on most of these eyeshadows. So that says a lot. And now I just want to keep the momentum going because I have already done most of the work. If I continue on that path, I might be able to get one more palette out of my collection. So let's talk about goals for this palette. I would want to finish both of these eyeshadows, of course. So the first one is Sing Along. I would want to get it done. And this one is called Hands Up High. I would also want to get it done. And the third eyeshadow that I'll try to finish is this one. It's called feel so good on its own i don't think i'll be able to finish it but i'm planning to franken it again with the same shade i frankened it earlier and i think that way i will be able to use it i think that's a good strategy and for these two eyeshadows i would want to hit side pan for this one called groove on and i would want to clear the entire side for this eyeshadow called parties jumping i think these are achievable goals after finishing hands up high i think i can focus more on using this eyeshadow called saturday night because these were very similar they don't look as similar in the pants but this is very very sparkly and it looks way lighter on the eyelid than it looks in the pan so Hopefully moving forward, I'll be able to use it more in my inner corners and maybe I'll be able to make more progress. So we'll see. I kind of want to have a goal of clearing the top side, but I'm going to stretch on this one for sure. I want to clear the bottom half. There's more product on the bottom and if I 
finish the entire bottom part of this eyeshadow then i'll be only remaining with this top part with less product that's how i'm thinking about it so yeah that would be my goals for top it up or top it up palette <laughs> however you say it and for my elf summer breeze palette i would want to finish the last remaining eyeshadow in here that would be great. I kind of wanted to have a finale for this project next month, but I'm sure that I won't be able to finish my Essence palette by next update. Like it's going to take more than a month for sure. Hopefully I'll be able to finish all of these eyeshadows I'm working on by the end of this year. So we'll see how it goes. But that's all I have for today's update. Thank you so much for sticking with me until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day or night, depending on when you're watching my video, wherever in the world you are. I will see you in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.